let's start right here in New York. It's increasingly a tight race between New York Governor Kathy Hoko and challenger Lee Zeldin, and Republicans are feeling confident and comfortable as New Yorkers experience the first truly competitive general election for a governor in decades. Yeah, it is down to the wire, and it is close, close, close. Correspondent Sarah Williamson is here to give us those details. Hi, Sarah. Hi, hi guys, that's exactly right. New York gubernatorial candidate Lee Zeldin launching his final appeal to voters this morning, asking for their help to save the Big Apple from rising crime especially, adding that New Yorkers just want to feel safe on the streets and on the subways. Now, speaking to reporters after casting his vote at Mastiff Beach Firehouse on Long Island, the Republican criticized Governor Kathy Hochul's track record on crime, saying that she wants us to look the other way on major issues like public safety and the economy. Zeldin also feeling confident about today's results. Take a listen. Uh, this is going to be a historic election. We're, we're feeling great, uh, all the early reports is that throughout the entire state our supporters are coming out strong today so if we keep that up uh, it's going to be a hard-fought well-earned victory look forward to getting to work uh, my first phone call tomorrow morning uh, will be to the new york city mayor eric adams meanwhile kathy hochel makes her last minute dash for votes in new york's upper east side this morning campaigning in a diner before heading to Queens to meet with progressive Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez at a subway this station ahead of casting her ballot. Back to you. All right. Thank you very much, Sarah. And we'll keep an eye on what's going on in New York, but a lot of eyes on Arizona.